Something strange has appeared at the Apollo 11 landing site. New satellite images reveal a shape that wasn't there before, right where humanity first set foot on the moon. For over 50 years, that spot in the sea of tranquility remained untouched. Until now. Is it just a shadow? Or a signal that changes everything? What they found could rewrite what we thought we knew, or confirm our deepest fears. It was July 16, 1969, from Cape Kennedy, Florida, a steel titan known as the Saturn Thieve ignited with a roar that shook the Earth and human history alike. Inside the command module sat three men, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, explorers bound for a place no living being had ever stepped on. As the engines thundered beneath them, the rocket climbed through the blue atmosphere toward the darkness of space. In just under 12 minutes, they had already reached Earth's orbit. The next step? To travel 384,000 kilometers through the cold, airless void toward the moon. A destination that had tempted humanity's imagination for millennia. The separation of modules was a delicate ballet of technology and timing. The command module, Columbia, would remain in orbit around the moon, piloted by Collins. Meanwhile, Armstrong and Aldrin transferred into Eagle, the lunar module, a fragile craft no thicker than a soda can in some places, yet humanity's most daring machine. For three days, they sailed through the silence of space, with only a thin shell separating them from absolute vacuum. Outside, the sun burned relentlessly, and the temperatures swung from boiling to freezing within minutes. Inside, the air hissed through tiny vents, the heartbeat of life sustained by wires, valves, and human courage. On July 19th, the moon loomed large through the tiny round windows, no longer distant, but close enough to touch. Every crater, every ridge was filled with the echoes of ancient impacts. And yet, amid that silence and desolation, something extraordinary was about to happen. The night before their landing, Armstrong wrote a brief note home, a mission log entry that would be read by the entire world later. It wasn't dramatic. It was calm, steady, almost humble. But the next day, he and Aldrin would enter the history books forever. What awaited them on that gray surface was not just dust and rock, but the question that still haunts scientists today. What happens to the first traces of humanity when they are left exposed to the raw eternity of space? The moment had arrived on July 20th, 1969. The Eagle was descending toward the lunar surface, a tiny craft navigating a vast, silent wasteland. Inside, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were focused, their every movement critical as the rocky surface drew closer through the narrow window. In those final minutes, the tension was almost tangible, as communication with mission control strained to keep pace with the unfolding drama. With only seconds of fuel left, Armstrong guided the module away from a boulder-strewn area, landing gently on the Sea of Tranquility. Then came the words that echoed around the world. That's one small step for Translate, a man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong's foot touched the moon dust, a silent but seismic moment that transformed humanity's story. That silent surface suddenly became the stage for exploration, discovery, and wonder. For the next 21 hours, Armstrong and Aldrin conducted experiments, collected 21.5 kilograms of moon rocks, and planted symbolic objects, all while the Earth hung like a fragile blue marble far above. The landscape they explored was a desolate spectacle, gray dust interrupted by craters and shadows, a place of quiet majesty. But it wasn't just a scientific outpost, it was a monument to human curiosity and courage. The astronauts left behind not just equipment, but a legacy, a tangible mark of our species' first reach beyond Earth. 
What secrets have those footprints and tools silently guarded since then? What stories do they tell about the resilience of human technology and the mysteries waiting beyond? When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped off the eagle, they didn't just leave footprints, they left behind an entire legacy, frozen in lunar dust. More than 187,000 kilograms of human-made material now scatter the moon's surface, from scientific instruments to symbolic tokens and even human waste. But what exactly remains, and why does it matter? First, the science. Among the most enduring are instruments like the Lunar Laser Ranging Retro Reflector, which, decades later, still helps scientists measure the exact distance between Earth and the Moon with astonishing precision. Another crucial tool was the seismometer. Detecting moonquakes that revealed our satellite is still tectonically active, a surprising discovery that reshaped how we understand the lunar interior. Then, there are objects layered with symbolism. The American flag planted on the surface was expected to stand proud, but the harsh lunar environment has faded it into mere white fabric, a ghostly echo of patriotism. Nearby, a tiny golden olive branch rests as a peace emblem, a silent message during the Cold War era, expressing hope for unity beyond Earth. The mission also left behind a silicon disk etched with goodwill messages from 73 world leaders, a cosmic time capsule representing humanity's shared dreams. Yet, the legacy is not only poetic, but practical. Astronauts abandoned tools and bags, holding 21.5 kilograms of moon rocks, invaluable for scientific study. Perhaps the most striking and controversial relics are the nearly 100 bags of human waste. NASA decided not to bring them back, but these biological remnants have sparked scientific curiosity. Could microbes trapped inside have survived over 50 years of lunar extremes? Exposure to intense radiation, temperature swings from boiling heat to frigid cold, and vacuum? Early studies say survival is unlikely, yet the question remains open, tantalizing astrobiologists with the possibility of life enduring beyond Earth. This trove colors the moon's barren landscape, not just as a silent witness to history, but as an ongoing scientific experiment. How these materials have weathered the harsh environment could teach us how future lunar habitats might withstand decades or even centuries. And then there's mystery and speculation. Some wonder if hidden technologies beyond the official accounts rest buried under the dust. What secrets might be encoded in the silent instruments that still send faint signals? Could microbes actually have mutated in ways we can't yet fathom? These questions keep this half-century-old relic alive, inviting us to look beyond footprints and flags, to the unknown lingering in the lunar silence. What would it mean for humanity if those remnants told stories not yet heard about resilience history and life beyond our planet. Among the many items left behind on the moon, nearly 100 bags of astronaut waste quietly remain. A biological footprint hidden in the lunar dust. The question science wrestles with is this. Could any microbes from those bags, or even from the astronauts themselves, have survived the brutal lunar environment for over half a century? The moon offers extreme hostility to life. Relentless solar and cosmic radiation, vacuum conditions with no atmosphere, and temperature swings from scorching heat to freezing cold. Official NASA assessments and scientific studies suggest that survival chances for Earth microbes are extremely low. The germicides included in waste bags, combined with vacuum desiccation and harsh radiation, create near-impossible conditions for terrestrial bacteria. Yet, some strains of bacteria, such as Streptococcus mitis, were reportedly found alive on equipment returned from the lunar surface decades later, though contamination after return cannot be fully excluded. Experiments on more modern spacecraft and the International Space Station have shown certain extremophiles endure months in space. 
could lunar microbes have mutated or adapted in ways we don't yet understand? Astrobiologists continue debating these possibilities. Some speculate that microbial life might persist in shadowed craters with stable, extremely cold, and possibly hydrated environments, known as permanently shadowed regions. These spots could offer protection from harsh radiation and temperature swings, acting as microbial refuges. With renewed lunar exploration planned, understanding microbial survival is critical not only for planetary protection, but also for the future of long-term human presence on the Moon. What if remnants of Earth life silently endure there? Could they serve as an early test case for life's resilience beyond our planet? Or worse, an unintended source of contamination? The answer remains elusive, locked within the silence of lunar dust, inviting deeper exploration and careful study. A common question that fascinates many is simple yet profound. Can we see the Apollo 11 landing site from Earth? Imagine pointing a telescope toward the moon and spotting the very place where humanity took its first steps on another world. The truth is, even the most powerful Earth-based telescopes cannot resolve objects as small as the lunar module or astronaut footprints. To see details like the flag or lander would require a telescope roughly three and a half miles in diameter, an engineering feat far beyond current or foreseeable technology. However, the story doesn't end there. Since 2009, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, has orbited the Moon, capturing extraordinary high-resolution images of the landing sites. These photos reveal the descent stage of the Eagle Lunar Module, astronaut footprints, rover tracks from later missions, and scientific instruments left behind. The images highlight the contrast between pristine lunar dust and the disturbed surfaces around these artifacts. Besides just pictures, the Apollo 11 landing site remains visible through laser ranging. The astronauts left retro reflectors, special mirrors, that scientists on Earth target with lasers. When the photons bounce back, they help measure the Earth-Moon distance with incredible precision, providing data about lunar motion, Earth's tides, and even tests of fundamental physics. So, while you cannot see Apollo's hardware with your own eyes or typical backyard telescope, technology has enabled us to witness a silent lunar testament to human achievement. It makes you wonder, what secrets might these marks hold as the Moon keeps them isolated in eternal silence? The lunar surface is an unforgiving place. For more than 50 years, the remnants of Apollo 11 have faced extremes unlike any on Earth. Intense ultraviolet radiation, cosmic rays, and temperature swings from scorching 120 degrees Celsius to frigid negative 170 degrees Celsius every lunar night and day cycle. Materials left behind have shown telltale signs of this harsh aging. The famously planted American flag, once vibrant, is now bleached into a ghostly, nearly white fabric. Scientists say that exposure to unfiltered ultraviolet light and solar wind particles stripped away its original colors, leaving a faint and haunting echo of that historic moment. The shiny foil wrapping scientific instruments and the lunar module's descent stage itself have suffered degradation too. Some of the thermal insulation materials have cracked or worn thin, while metal surfaces show evidence of slow but steady erosion from micrometeorite impacts. Interestingly, the astronaut footprints and rover tracks remain impressively well-preserved, thanks to the Moon's lack of wind and atmosphere. Without air or water, there is nothing to erode these marks, so they could remain for millions of years, unless disturbed by future missions. This unique preservation paints a picture of the Moon as both a time capsule and a harsh laboratory, where decades-long exposure teaches us about survival in space. It also poses questions. As we plan longer stays and settlements, 
how can we protect both human artifacts and the pristine lunar environment from degradation? The fragile silence of the lunar surface reminds us that these old relics are more than just equipment. They are messages carved into the dust, silent witnesses of humanity's giant leap. The Apollo 11 landing site is not just a collection of old equipment and footprints. It's a powerful symbol of human achievement. NASA has long urged visitors to the moon not to disturb the sites, treating them as historical monuments of extraterrestrial exploration. In recent years, scientists and policymakers have proposed designating these sites as part of a cultural heritage for humanity, a kind of open-air lunar museum. The idea is to preserve and respect these silent testaments to our species' courage as we prepare for new missions. This preservation effort raises profound questions. How do we balance scientific exploration with protecting artifacts from humanity's first steps beyond Earth? Could damage to these sites erase irreplaceable pieces of history? No es solo un montón de equipos viejos, es un mensaje grabado en el polvo. Estuvimos aquí. These words capture an essential truth. The sites are living memories reminding us every day of what was possible when curiosity met determination. As nations and private companies eye the moon once again, the legacy of Apollo 11 challenges us to honor the past as we reach for the future. If you thought exploring Apollo 11's first footprints was fascinating, just wait. What we've uncovered next will challenge everything you thought you knew about the moon and our place in the cosmos. There are secrets still hidden in plain sight. Mysteries that could change the future of space exploration forever. Don't miss out, dive into what comes next, and prepare to question reality itself.